press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. to merge India's two biggest e-commerce companies have collapsed. Snapdeal has called off talks to be bought by a bigger rival Flipkart. Snapdeal is struggling to make a profit. It says that has an alternative plan to turn itself around. Flipkart and Snapdeal are very much like Amazon or Alibaba. They offer discounts on everything from consumer goods to hotel rooms. The $950 million deal was pushed by SoftBank, Snapdeal's biggest shareholder. SoftBank says it respects the decision. Analysts say the collapse of the deal now gives Amazon a stronger footing in India. They say Snapdeal and Flipkart should have come together to counter Amazon's deep pockets. Now, despite India being one of the world's fastest growing e-commerce markets, tough competition has made it difficult for online retailers to make a profit in the country. Let's get more on this now from Santosh Rao, who joins me live from New York. He's the head of research at the Manhattan Venture Partners. Thanks so much for joining us, Santosh. Now, with Thank 300 you. million people living below the poverty line, is India really ready for e-commerce? Yes, uh, it absolutely is. It's a very fast-growing market. Remember, there's a one, it's 1 1.2, 1.3 billion uh, population, and there's close to about 300 million of middle-class people. So there's enough spending power in there. So this 300 million, they can wait for them to come up uh, on, the, on the economic scale, but there's enough middle-class and a growing elite uh, class that uh, can sustain the e-commerce market. Uh, but looked at, looked at from the outside, this snap deal flip cart, uh, story. Um, this merger would have seemed to be a no-brainer. I mean, they seem to complement each other's businesses very well. Why has this merger been so difficult? Well, I think it looks like uh, a disagreement in terms of the strategy. Uh, uh, the, uh, the, the executives at the firm at Snapdeal did not want to merge, and there was some disagreement on the board side as well. So on, on on the face of it, the merger makes sense. Snapdeal needs to merge with someone. They have only 10% market share. Flipkart and Amazon are close to 40%. Uh, so I think Snapdeal on its own cannot uh, compete. Uh, plus they're selling off their non-core businesses. So I don't know what exactly their plan is. They feel they can be profitable uh, on their own. But I think in the long run, they need scale. They need the resources, and they will not be able to survive on their own. And that is my, that is my take on this. They needed this merger badly. OK, so what does this tell you about the state of uh, India's corporate sector as a whole, then? Well, I think it's, there's, there's, lo there's a lot of moving parts there. Uh, E-commerce is growing. Uh, it's right now a very small percentage of the total uh, retail market. So the, you're going to see some lot of changes. But in the end, it's probably going to be a duopoly. Uh, it's going to be Flipkart and Amazon. There will be a lot of consolidation uh, going on. So it's still a, the, the organized retail market is roughly 18%. There's a lot of room for online commerce to grow. So you're going to see a lot of changing, a lot of moving parts, a lot of partnerships going on. But in the end, uh, they will come under the umbrella of Flipkart and Amazon. So, so you're going to see all that. There's a lot of money flowing in. Uh, the government is pushing for uh, the digital India. So you're going to see a lot of people coming onto the internet world. Uh, then you have very low cost uh, internet services from Geo, which is a new telecom company. So I think you're going to see a lot more telecom, a lot more demand. So the demand side is going to be very strong. It's the supply side that needs to straighten itself. Uh, and really capture that demand, do and you, you're going to see that. Uh, do you see demand. Do you see India's e-commerce market developing differently to how it's developed in the West? And if so, how? Yeah, it's going to be in fits and starts. Uh, it's not a very organized market. The logistics uh, in the country is very weak. The whole logistic infrastructure, the payments infrastructure is still developing. So nothing is seamless like the Western countries. A lot of people don't have credit cards like they do here uh, in the Western world. So you are going to see some structural issues, uh, slow the growth of e-commerce. But in the end, people realize that it is convenient. There is a price differentiation. There is a price proposition value proposition in there. So it'll prove itself out over the long run. Uh, the population is growing. 65% of the population is less than 35 years old. So there's a level of sophistication in there. So you, you will see e-commerce build up over time, uh, but it's going to take a while because of the whole infrastructure is still very outdated or very slow to catch up.
Final question, uh, Santosh. Both companies have been rumoured to be looking at IPOs by 2019. How likely is that? Uh, you're talking about Flipkart and Snapdeal? Flipkart and Snapdeal. Yeah, I think Flipkart more than Snapdeal uh, will probably do an IPO uh, because uh, Flipkart has the scale and can use the resources. Uh, the Snapdeal, uh, I don't know. I have a feeling they will come back to market at some point with a better structure and a better uh, rationalization, I guess. Uh, they will come to market. So if I had to take a bet right now, uh, I would say Flipkart will be ahead okay. of Okay. Santosh Rao, Manhattan Venture Partners in New York. Thank you ever so much.